Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It's going to be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series that I post every Wednesday and I'm going to chat with you over all the new makeup releases. I have a few new items that I'm going to share with you in the beginning that I have received in PR, chat about my thoughts on them, and all the other new releases that have been announced. I will link my playlist down below and also the community playlist that I started, but it's like a jam-packed week. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Welcome to New Will I Buy It. So I'm, I'm excited for this week because I finally started to open my mail and some packages. So uh, with the Will I Buy It series, if I received anything in PR that I would be talking about this week, I like physically show it to you instead of just showing the picture and uh, share my thoughts on it. And the past few weeks since I did just move, I, I mean, I was having a hard time, obviously. Like I'm just, you know, hard time, hard change, all of those things, but I, this sounds like, <laughs> I don't know how this sounds, but I was having a hard time opening my mail because I was kind of, I don't know, like subconsciously in my mind being like, oh, I'm just in a hotel. Like this is just a break. This is just whatever. And I found myself not doing items that you would like only do at home. So I wasn't opening my mail because you don't, you don't open your mail when you're on vacation or at a hotel. I wasn't buying groceries and making my own food here. Um, just like little things like that, but we are getting over it. You know, obviously I had to give myself some time to feel those feelings <laughs> and process the things, but we're getting back up, we're dusting ourselves off. We're opening our mail. I mean, you know, it's bad when I wasn't able to open makeup packages. <laughs> I mean, it's like I wanted to and I was really excited about it, but you know, we've opened all the packages, we've opened all the bills, you know, I really needed to get those opened. And uh, I made some food uh, this week, my home chef box came, so I was able to make some food. So we're settling in, we're settling in. Um, I have been posting some like mini vlogs, I guess you could call them, on my TikTok, which is by Samantha March. I haven't decided if I'm gonna post them to my Instagram Reels just because Instagram is like such a different beast. I don't know if people would be interested. But I was also thinking of maybe posting some as YouTube Shorts. YouTube has recently rolled out their Shorts feature, which is a under 60 second vertical video to upload here on YouTube. Uh, so I was thinking about maybe putting in some of those mini vlogs as I get my first vlog ready, like my actual moving vlog. It just takes me really long to edit those. Um, if you like that idea, if you'd like to see some of those 60 second clips of me shopping at Target for, you know, one is um, just my, my second day in Vegas, just buying like stuff for like bare necessities to get by. Um, shopping for my kitchen, shopping for my bedroom, decorating my bathroom. If you'd wanna see those little clips here on YouTube in between some of the bigger vlogs that I'm planning on doing, let me know. So I was thinking of posting one tomorrow. So if you like the idea, let me know. Otherwise you can follow my TikTok. So, okay, but let's jump into it. Let's, maybe let's start with the big box. Let's start with the big box. Okay, this is a new release from Sigma Beauty and I'm very excited about this. This is, this is the ambiance collection. Okay. I did also do an unboxing of some of the packages that I have received that will be going up on TikTok. If you'd want to see that let me, on shorts, let me know now that we have that option. This is uh, super beautiful. Hi. Okay. All right. How do I show this to you? I feel like I need to like stand up. Here we go. Here we go. This, oh, I'm wearing a dress today. I've told myself I live in Vegas, wear a dress every day. I had a meeting this morning and I was like, I, I grabbed my like nice pants and I was like, girl, no, you ain't. That's not what you're wearing. Okay, so this is the ambiance collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette, a cheek palette, I think it's a highlight palette, glosses, and a brush set. This is the whole thing, it's the whole workout. I got a lot of tags from you guys on this one saying, oh yes, that I would love the neutrals. Yes, yep, Aries, this is, this is about me right now, it's not about you and your love of neutrals. This is super beautiful. So you might know that I love the Sigma eyeshadow palettes. I think that they are super underrated. Love the formula. I speak so highly about them on my channel. This looks like, this looks like something I would like to use all summer long. Just uh, some of these topper shades from Sigma are super, super beautiful. Their mattes are fantastic. I love that they come with a double-ended brush because their brushes are excellent. 
this is beautiful. You know, I am on the Sigma PR and I have been on their PR for many years now. They were the first big brand to put me on their PR, which has always been so exciting. And Sigma like always holds a special place in my heart because of that. Um, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. So even if I hadn't received it, just knowing how much I love the Sigma formula and how much I love the looks of this palette, I feel like it just makes sense. It just makes sense for it to be in my collection. And then we have the highlight palette, which is also incredibly beautiful. Now a highlight palette, I don't go for as much just because I used to be really into like the larger face palettes, but I try not as much anymore. And instead try to stick with like singles or duos or something like that. This is really stunning. I think some of the shades could have gone a little bit deeper. Yeah, I think the shades, some of the shades could have gone a little bit deeper, but it looks like, um, if you're really fair, I think this could work for you too. Cause sometimes the, the, you know, the two ends of the spectrum can kind of get cut off. I feel like if you're really fair, this one might be, might lean a little bit more towards you. So this is glow kiss. And then we have the two glosses, the one in brilliance. I feel like I'm going to use this one right away. It just looks like a sparkly lip product that I would enjoy. And then the brushes, I really love the sparkly handles. Like I feel like this collection is just like a whole summer mood. And I'm I'm here for that. I'm I'm here for that. Out of the collection, if I had not received this in PR, I would have bought the eyeshadow palette for sure. I do like the Sigma glosses. I wouldn't say they're like an absolute favorite of mine. I also love the brushes and the brush case, like this beauty bag that comes with it. That's fun too. Looks of this collection beautiful beautiful so i believe this is available now yes it is it's available the damn filming i should go tell people about it samantha get it together must tell people the eyeshadow palette is 49 the highlight palette is 49 the gloss the glosses are 20 dollars each and the brush set is 95 or a 119 value can get the complete collection for 186 which is a 233 value i am an affiliate with sigma and my discount code is samantha if you ever are checking out and you would like to save any money but like I said, I think this is going to be the next eyeshadow palette that I'm using. I have the one from Rare Beauty on today because I'm trying to get my reviews from my last Sephora haul ready. I'm going to start focusing on this palette because this is just beautiful and I would like to get it on my eyes ASAP. So are you picking up this collection from Sigma? Next, I'm really excited about these also when I opened the box. I was like, oh, yay. These are from Persona Cosmetics. They're cream products. Can you believe it? Not that Persona came out with cream products that I was so excited when I opened them. These are from Persona. These are the Dream Sticks. So these are bronze multi-sticks for eyes, cheeks, and lips. So a multi-use cream bronzing stick. Uh, these are available now and they're now available also at Ulta Beauty. Oh my gosh, should I do another trying new makeup? I do. I promise, promise, promise. I promise. I'm holding myself to it. Friday's video is going to be my Vegas q and I've mentioned that in, a, in some previous videos. Like I just kind of got a little bit overwhelmed, but there's some really great questions that have come in. Again, it's just a hard time that, you know, during like a separation and a move and all of the things, like I find myself getting overwhelmed really easily, really quickly. And I just like need to take a step back. So when I went to film last week, I just like felt overwhelmed again. So... <laughs> But we're gonna get it together this week because we're getting our life together, okay? And I will be doing my Vegas Q&A. But I feel like I should also do a trying new makeup where I can like really, you know, focus on the new makeup too. But I'm... Oh, I've been using cream bronzer pretty much all week. Right now I have on the Patrick Tosh She Sculpt It, which does... I do have both the cream and the powder on. But I've been using... Um, I just bought the Kaja Beauty sculpted trio i've been using that bronzer a lot i dipped into my milk makeup bronzer so i'm really stoked to try these i also have been planning to do ranking all of my cream products because i didn't have too many but now i keep getting more and buying more and trying more and i'm like should i just film the first ranking video or should i just wait so i can include all these but then it's like what if it doesn't stop what if i just don't stop buying them all right, and then also one last thing uh, to show you, and I actually do have it on my lashes today. It is a new mascara. Lawless Beauty is coming out with a new mascara. This is the one and done mascara. So I actually don't have a lot of details on the launch or the price of it yet. I did just get this in PR. I actually did a Zoom um, previously where Annie Lawless was talking about it. But at the end, I was like, I don't know if I just missed it because I was doing my makeup during it. But... Um, I don't feel like I heard her talk about when it's actually available or the price. 
I could have just missed it though because I was, again, getting ready to do this video. But if I have any other information, I will put it down in the description box because I know they just announced the launch today. But I did want to put it on my lashes and I will have a little demo on my Instagram reels if you want to see. But the wand is really interesting. It's a little bit more spiky. It also has this like ball tip at the end. And Annie described it as kind of like a spoolie for your lashes to be able to like style your lashes. So you regularly would put the mascara on but then you can flip it and you kind of move your lashes around and style them that way. And I actually really liked that and I was like that's how I was doing my lashes today and you'll see it in the demo. Uh, it's a little bit more of a wet formula but not like super super wet I would say. Okay. The one shade is black. She says she did want to come out with some other shades also, but for right now, we do just have the black shade. I really do like the pink packaging, uh, but I was very impressed because if you can see, like I just have one coat of mascara on and I felt like that was really all I needed. I was like, okay, I feel like thing. Like even in the demo, as I'm doing my lashes at one point, I'm like one coat. Cause I'm like, wait, what, how? I mean, I'm usually doing two, or three coats and I feel like it definitely made my lashes longer but it also gave them volume. I've had the mascara on for probably two hours at this point right now. Don't see, you know, no smudging yet, no flaking. You know, she talked about how it's supposed to not smudge or flake like pretty much all mascaras tell us but we all know that like I'm the queen of like smudge mascara so uh, we will just have to see as the day wears on. We'll have to see how it does but so far I really like how it makes my lashes look. And I like I really enjoy testing out mascaras. So when I got this, I was like, oh, yes, please, I'm gonna try it out right away. So this is another one that I will keep trying out for review. Would I have bought it? Yeah, I honestly I think I would I would have bought the Persona stick also just because I'm for whatever reason I'm super into cream products right now, and I'm very into wearing them. I just I feel like this like shift with where I live. It's almost like. I kind of want to do lighter, even like more effortless makeup. And I feel like effortless makeup has kind of been my thing for a while, but now it's like even more so like one to two eyeshadow colors, maybe even nothing on the lower lash line or just something really light like I have right now on the lower lash line, um, more cream products, lighter coverage and you know, skin tints. I have a whole video on a few of the new skin tints that I bought recently. If you want to check that out, it's just like what I'm into right now. So I think I would have purchased and I love persona. Their releases are very good. Same with Lawless Beauty. I pretty much buy everything from them. Every once in a while I get something in PR and I get very excited. So I could see myself purchasing both of those. Both Persona and Lawless, they are brands that don't come out with a lot of releases all at once or like really overwhelming, like huge collections with every product under the sun in them. But I find with that, that their releases are typically pretty spot on. They are usually products that I like a lot. And I appreciate that. So those are two brands that I think are really great. So yeah, okay. That's everything I received in PR this week that I would have talked about this week. Yes, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up, let's just keep going. I'm gonna scoot over so I can add in some photos. What do you think we should talk about first slash fourth? Oh, Natasha Denona has a new palette out, okay. Maybe let's just talk about that for a while. Mm. It's coming out with the Zendo palette, the big sister of the mini Zendo. I feel like that's interesting because isn't it usually she comes out with a big palette and then comes out with a smaller palette? Has she ever done a small palette and then does a big palette? I could be wrong. I, I mean, I, I totally could be wrong. So this is a warm and cool tone palette inspired by an ambience where nature meets minimalist architecture. Honestly, I have no idea what that means, but that's cool. A mix of elements that conveys peacefulness and tranquility. 15 new eyeshadows. This one is 65 and it's available now. So I'll have it, I'll have it linked down below. I know some people are already getting it and putting videos up. I applaud, I applaud all the YouTubers that can buy things super fast, film, edit, and upload. I've gone through phases where I try to be that person and I just, I'm not very good at it. So and I feel like if that's who you are, like you gotta do it consistently, that's just, I, I can't do that consistently. But kudos to everyone who has, so there are already videos up. You know, I was hanging out with my friend Michelle Wong the other day, very casually, and she asked me at one point, she turned to me, she goes, did you get the new Tasha Denona palette? And I was like, no, I didn't get it yet. Mostly because I'm just, you know, I was having my 
my, my moments. I was having my week and I just really, I wasn't on social media all too much and I mean, throw in Mother's Day, just all of the things. It just wasn't well. I just, you know, wasn't on social media quite as much. Um, so like I saw it, but not to the point where like I really looked at it and was like, should I get this? Should I not? A lot of times if a palette is 65 from Natasha, I really do think about it versus the 129. I didn't get the minis then though. It just, it didn't call to me as much. This one, I just, I, it's pretty. See, I think to me, if I am like, eh, about something, I feel like I shouldn't do it. I feel like I shouldn't talk myself into it. And it's actually, it's what I said to Michelle. I actually wanted to film my Will I Buy It yesterday when I saw her, but I ran out of time. Uh, and I said, I, I wanted to film my Will I Buy It to see if I talked myself into or out of it, because sometimes that's what happens in these videos. Uh, but now I'm filming it today and I feel like I'm already talking myself out of it. Just because I would really prefer to be like, yes, that's what I want. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I did a double take, you know, all of these things. And it's like, oh, as I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, those are pretty and some pinks and that green looks cool. You know, it's like, I'm like trying to, to talk myself into it and I try to avoid that. So I think at this moment, it would probably be better for me just to skip. I think it would be better for me to just skip this one. I think one of the biggest reasons why I do want it is just because I have a lot of Natasha palettes and I really like the Natasha palettes and it's like, oh, this could be another one to my collection and I could like keep building my Natasha collection. But I also don't consider myself a collector. I really don't. And I don't aspire to be. I don't feel like I need it right now. Do I still feel like I could be talked into it if I saw some like really bomb reviews or if I was like, I just really feel like I'm missing this in my collection? I might pick it up, but I feel like I'm gonna try to hold off for now. That's my thoughts. All right, next up we do have a collection coming from ColourPop. And when I was first getting tagged on this and I was looking, I my mind would not have gone to ColourPop, but it is. They are coming out with ColourPop and Malibu Barbie. We have the palette for 25, a, there's a Super Shock highlighter for 12, some lip duos for 16, there's full lashes, there's a mirror, and the full collection will be $99, will be available May 13th. Okay. I, yeah, it just, it didn't give me those same ColourPop vibes. I feel like with ColourPop, they've pretty much always been doing the most, right? At least for the, the last couple years here. They've been doing the most. They've been doing the big collections. They've been doing a collection every week, every other week, at least every month. But I feel like recently it's like, I, 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 in my opinion, I feel like they're almost like losing their identity because it's like, we have these eyeshadow palettes, now these ones, now this one's, now this one's, and then we have these cheek products, but now this one and this one and this one. And it's like the palettes are changing, the sizes are changing, the pan shapes are, are changing, the, like everything is changing. It's like, you don't know what's going to be what. And I just feel like to me, I kind of like when you look at a product and you know like, oh, this is that brand and this is the aesthetic and this is the, all of that. And they're just kind of like all over to me right now. It's just, I, I don't know. That's just kind of my vibe. That's just kind of how I'm feeling. But that was like my first thought when I looked at this. Now this looks very summery. It looks, I mean, yes, it looks very Barbie. I'm surprised there's not even like more pink in here. Um, but the packaging is, is pink, which, which is cute. I just... I mean, like I said, very summery. I do like the ColourPop lashes. I like that they have lip duos coming out because I do like lip duos and it's a lip liner and a lipstick and that's kind of like my vibe and what I'm into. Um, and I like that some of the shades are that more classic nude. I don't really love those highlights to be honest. I, I'm not sure if I'll get this in PR. I do get some from, from ColourPop. If I do, I can definitely try it out. ColourPop is also one of those that can kind of change their formulas a lot too. I actually did a video yesterday talking about like brand pet peeves. And that was one thing I mentioned is when a brand is constantly switching the formula, which Natasha Denona has been notorious doing that in the past too. And, or Pat McGrath, or maybe both, has it been both? Um, and it's kind of frustrating because it's like, you feel like you know what to expect and then you buy something and it's not what you expect. So sometimes with ColourPop, it's like, I don't feel like I know what I'm gonna get from the formulas, especially in the eyeshadow palettes. But I'll say it's not, I, I don't think I would buy the palette my own. I would maybe do a lip collection, uh, a lip duo, because I know that I would actually use those. And I love the ColourPop lip liners. Uh, I use them 
I use them all of the time. I think that they're great. So I think that's the only thing that I would personally pick up from the collection, but would love to hear your thoughts. M Cosmetics, I see that they're coming out with the Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. Okay, so it's a skin loving highlighter that wears like a beam of moonlight gracing your cheeks. It's ultra, it's ultra sheer, multi sheer, multi chromatic cushion highlighter for natural radiance. I don't know what that means. What is ultra sheer yet multi sheer? Multi. I'm not sure I understand. Um, okay, but these are $30 each, will be available on May 16th. You know, cushion packaging, I'm actually not a big fan of. I guess I've, I've never tried it in a highlighter. My mind just kind of automatically goes to a foundation, but I wasn't really a huge fan of them. I like that it's different, you know, something something a little bit different. Um, I, I don't mind seeing those. The uh, $30, I mean $30, you know, it, it, it's definitely up there for a highlight, but when it says ultra sheer and like a natural highlight, that kind of tells me that's probably not going to be the best for me. I like something a little bit more blinding. That is still my thing. I have on my highlighter today with Over Cosmetics, uh, the Dream Chaser highlight. And I don't know, will uh, Friday the 14th be a good day to be a Dream Chaser? I just don't know. I have some news to share that day. So I think it's probably best if I pass over that. There's still some products from from M Cosmetics that I really do want to try out, but I don't think that one would be a good fit for me. Uh, I see that Victoria Beckham Beauty is coming out with a new matte bronzing stick, and this is a bronzing powder duo. It's a smooth matte, soft focus finish, $58 for each duo, and there's five different duos. I'm glad to see that there's five. I'm not glad to see the 58, but obviously I did a double take. Why, why does this happen to me? Um, it was, was it two years ago or just a year ago? It was whenever I was posting a video of like brands I want to try in, it was either 2019 or 2020, I mentioned Victoria Beckham Beauty. And I said, I don't know why, but I feel like she is going to release something that I just can't resist, that I really want to pick up. That did not happen that year, but it has happened now. I saw these and was like, want? And I was like, no, because I didn't know who it was at first. I don't, Victoria Beckham is pretty new and I don't, I, I feel like I wouldn't really know what her identity, so I didn't know who this brand was going to be. And I saw Victoria Beckham, I was like, yes, I've always wanted to try the brand. And then I was like, oh wait, what's the price? And I scrolled a little bit more and I was like, okay. You know, do I need another bronzer? No. Do I need another bronzer duo? No. Do I need anything to do with the word bronzer? No. Will I buy this? The chances are looking pretty high. Okay, I need to revisit something and we have uh, another product coming out from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So she's also coming out with new false bottom lashes. These are $12. So I guess these are for your bottom lashes. I don't know, to me they, I don't, I don't know. I don't need them. I'm not gonna purchase the bottom lashes. But I talked about the face palettes that they were coming out with, the three pan face palettes. When I talked about them like two or three weeks ago, there wasn't a price on them. These are $58. <sighs> I don't think that was announced the day my Will I Buy It went up, but it was like a few days later and someone was watching the video and commented. And she was like, the ABH face palettes are $58. And I was like, no, they're not. <laughs> what? What? No, they are. I mean, I know I just said Victoria Beckham Beauty is $58. That's Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is ABH. I don't understand why these are $58. I can't figure that out for the life of me. But even though, like, I was like, I'm not planning to pick them up. I'm really not planning to pick them up at $58. I don't know what this brand is doing. I'm very confused by Anastasia. But I would really like it. I would, I would, no. Speaking of something I'm not interested in. <sighs> I feel like I could have put this in my pet peeve video, but I was trying to do topics that I don't talk about as much, and I feel like some I talk about every week, especially in my Will I Bite video, but this this would be one of them. Um, a new brand is dropping tomorrow. Let's get it, get excited. Let me hear it. Introducing Relove by Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Beauty. They have like 27 brands now, and I don't understand I don't understand why this is happening. My my literal reaction, once again, wish I was filming myself 24 seven. 
as I was going through trend mood and I saw this, I felt, I felt my face do this. Like I was just angry. I could feel it. I could feel like the twitch in my lips. And then I clicked on the comments and one of the first ones that like highlights for me, cause you know, like if people you follow, it usually goes to the top so you see it, was my friend Angelica and it was like, no, make it stop. And I literally started to type, my lip is twitching. And I was like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to type that. But I was like, what? Ha? Why? It's just not, it just, I don't get it. I just don't feel like it's necessary. But these are all like, it says Revolution Beauty is going back to where they began seven years ago with a new range of makeup. What do you mean? They come out, I just, what is that? I don't even mean, I don't, I don't know. It's available now. You can definitely buy it. I do not care if you buy it, truly. I really don't care. <laughs> but I'm not going to be buying it because I care about what I buy. <laughs> so that's going to be a no for me. Uh, I got quite a few tags on this new product from Tarte. And this is their new Hydroflex Serum Foundation. So very into the skin tints, the light coverage foundations, the tinted moisturizers. This is supposed to look and feel like your skin. Lightweight, skincare infused. It's supposed to be 30. It is 32 shades. not supposed to be. And uh, will be $39. A lot of people tagged me and was, uh, was asking me if I would try this one to compare with all of the other ones I'm trying. I feel like I have a pretty good amount right now. I think I have six new... <laughs> Okay, that's a little embarrassing. I have six new skin tints that I've been trying out, four drugstore, two high-end. Do I need to add any more? Probably not, but would you really, like, let me know. Maybe I'll do a poll too. Would you really, really want the tart to be included? Because it's gonna push me back a little bit on how fast I can get the full ranking video up. But I would do it, I would do it if you'd really want to see it. Cause the claims sound interesting. I feel like it's something that I would like. It just is like, I would want to include that in the ranking video. So let me know. I would, I would really love to know your comments. And this is available now. Is it just on QVC? I mean, I, I could still order it. It just, it'd be easy, you know, Sephora's down the road. I would like to just like pop into Sephora and grab it, but that's fine. Let me know though. Pretty exciting for me to see. And I also was a little bit surprised, um, but Dose of Colors is coming out with new products. And this is a new collaboration with Nima Tang. Okay, so this is great. I'm very excited to see this. It looks like a great collaboration. So we have a coral lip set and a nude lip set. They're both $49. They're gonna be available now. So it has a lip liner, a gloss, a matte lipstick, and a classic lipstick bow. Classic lipstick. Let me say that again. Lip liner, lip gloss, a liquid matte lipstick, and a classic lipstick. Bo is the shade name. Thank you so much. Okay, the reason why I got excited for it, well, I'm excited to see the collaboration. I think that's great. Um, Nima Tang, I, I mean, I, I was gonna say, I don't know her personally. I don't know most people personally, but um, she, seems, she seems very nice, and she seems like a hard worker, and this is very exciting. But Dose of Colors, I had put a video to do um, on my um, like filming list. I always keep a running list of ideas for YouTube videos. And I was going to talk about brands that I was like worried about after Becca shut down or announced their shutdown. But I was like, I don't know. Is that like too sad of a video? Like I just wasn't sure what to do. But Dose of Colors was on my list to talk about because I was like, where are they? What are they doing? Like, I know the owner, Anna, has been doing some other things too. And I know they, I know that they recently started some skincare also. And then I think she started like a clothing line, but I just felt like the makeup part of Dose of Colors, I really, they've kind of like fallen off for me a little bit. I've decluttered all of my lipsticks. I don't know if I have anything Dose of Colors in my collection right now, actually. And I just didn't feel like I was seeing a lot of new releases, so I was a little bit confused by them. So this, you know, I think it's really exciting. Collaborations are typically, you know, always exciting because someone usually has, you know, supporters around them. But um, a huge congr congratulations to Nima Tang because this is awesome. And I'm excited to see it because I'm still, you know, I'm rooting for Dose of Colors. I might not have as much from them in my collection now, but, you know, I like to think I'm still rooting for them. Right, some other uh, lip... Uh, releases that are coming out. Melt Cosmetics is coming out with new lipstick shades in the Nudes collection. 11 lipsticks, a full range of neutral tones, and the ultra matte finish. Uh, right now I just see coming soon to the website. I like the sounds of an ultra matte finish. Do I need a nude lipstick? I mean, probably not, but I like a nude. 
and I like a matte lipstick. Um, maybe depending on the price, I might be able to talk to, be talked into this and it would be my first purchase from Melt Cosmetics. I got a palette gifted to me, but I haven't made a purchase from them myself, but maybe, maybe that could be the first one. Available now, the one and only collection Bride by EXO Beauty Shop. Shannon wore it for her wedding. Okay, so we have the one and only palette. We have some different highlight palettes, a lip veil, or the bundle is $88.50. Oh, everything is really really pretty, like this light pink shade. Oh, that looks so nice. Um, uh, huge congratulations to Shannon and EXO Beauty Shop. I think I'm just going to go ahead and skip over this one, though, maybe for obvious reasons. We have a new collaboration coming. All right, this is with Mac and Disney and uh, Cruella. Cruella, I think there's a new movie coming out. Because I think Emma Stone is in it, and I do like Emma Stone. Will I watch the movie? The chances aren't super high. I have been getting more into shows though. I've been watching quite a few shows. Um, I just watched a the Brittany Murphy um, documentary that was really freaking sad. Um, just because I really liked Brittany Murphy, so that just made me sad. Uh, I've been re-watching Schitt's Creek. So that's been a lot of fun for me. I've been trying to avoid Bridgerton, but so we started at Schitt's Creek. So yeah, I feel like that's kind of like my new thing at night with Aries is to like wind down that way. So yeah, if you have any good show recommendations, I feel like I ask that a lot. But movies, I just, I don't I feel like it's such a commitment to watch a movie. I don't have that kind of time. But this Mac and Disney Corella includes lipstick, a liquid lip color, eyeliner, lashes, face brushes, eye brushes, eyeshadows, powder blush, du powder blush duos will be available May 13th. Okay. You know, Mac is just really not like been grabbing my attention and I thank you so much I do know who Cruella is and I have seen 101 Dalmatians what up but not to the point where I feel like I absolutely need this you know curious though curious though if you'll be picking it up I think it's something that I I would pass on though another collaboration that will be coming is Urban Decay and Prince a lot of people are talking about this all I see right now is it's going to be available May 27th but I haven't seen anything else it says live loud in color includes a full collection that's all I've seen. I haven't seen any of the act, at least at the time I'm filming, I have not seen anything yet on the actual collection, so I don't have much to say. I have seen a lot of people incredibly, incredibly hyped for this. I'm just curious of how it's going to go, though. Like, I know a lot of people who absolutely loved Game of Thrones didn't love the collab, so I just, I just, sometimes when you work with something or someone that is so well known and like so beloved, People can have their own expectations of it and then it's impossible to meet everybody's expectations obviously so i don't know i don't know how this is gonna go but are you all excited for it i mean i'm gonna keep my eye i've been i've been waiting to see what it's gonna be but i don't know we we will just have to see and then this collaboration is uh let's see siete london and edna mode hashtag pixar I do not know who Edna Mode is. Looks like a, oh, I mean like a, I wanna say like a cartoon character, but like probably from a movie. It was a face and cheek palette for 39, two gel liners for 19, and soft matte lip powders for $20. Will be available May 13th uh, on the website and also at Sephora. So I'm not familiar with this collaboration. I'm not sure if this is from a movie or what movie it is from. So I'm gonna pass over it. The colors are like, you know, kind of like, funky and fun and you know i'm not funky i'm fun i'm f i'm fun have you seen my week one week one camera roll of being in vegas i have to say it looks pretty fun but i'm gonna i'm gonna pass over that one you can let me know who edna is okay i think i have some skincare to get through so wishful which is the huda beauty skincare brand is coming out with some new products the Rose Quartz Deep Puffing and Sculpting Roller for 37 a Wrap It Up Face Mask Holder for 23 Masks per pouch, one transparent mask and one pink glittery mask. Soft and stretchy silicone face mask holder designed specifically to sit on top of your skincare to like help lock everything in. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. Um, I thought it was a new mask. <laughs> the roller looks interesting. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a roller like that. I was thinking of like... You know, the ones with like the two on the end. I mean, 
that's fun that's 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 really interesting i don't know i i don't necessarily need either product though i will say i have been really enjoying her eye masks the wishful eye masks those are really good those are really good i'm i think i'm actually gonna purchase some more of those i got them in pr i think i'm gonna buy more because <laughs> i really did like them for these i don't think i really need either product if i do happen to get them in pr you know awesome if not you know that's okay too uh, from Fourth Ray Beauty, which is a sister brand to skincare. This is the uh, skin a sister brand to ColourPop, the skincare line. I swear, it's just water. It's like three o'clock, uh, which in Vegas really doesn't matter, okay? But it matters to me. So we have an instantly brightening and moisturizing eye cream. Uh, supposed to have a power packed vitamin C to deliver a luminous glow. Will be available May 12th. Obviously my first thought was I wonder if it'll be a dupe to the Ulla Hendrickson because I, re I did really, really like that eye cream. So that makes me curious. I don't really get uh, PR much from Fourth Row Beauty. Like every once in a while something sneaks itself in, but I did get, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I did, I did order the Desi Vitamin C. So I will be trying that, which I'm very excited for. Some of you were telling me to go ahead and try that in my last uh, haul video. So I ordered that. But I, yeah, if this comes, because this is an eye cream that's just a regular vitamin C serum for your face. If it does come, I'll try it. I don't know, I kind of just want to try it anyway. I might pick this one up just because I'm curious if it would be a dupe because if it would that would be really awesome it might not be but that's how, why I would test it out for you okay okay from the brand uh, live tinted we have new rays copper eye mask supercharged with triple complex of copper peptides of banana extract and uh, the retinol alternative mm, it's $22 for five pairs okay I mean these sound really nice like I said, I've really been, I think, I, I think I would like to repurchase the ones from Wishful. I don't use eye masks all that much. I definitely used to another time in my life a few years ago. I don't use them as much, so I probably wouldn't need these, but, but that's an option. I will go ahead and link them down below. Summer Fridays is coming out with the Pool Time Glowing Body Oil, and this is available now but I don't see a price on it. Hold on, let me find it. can't find it, actually. I don't see it online at this moment. Hmm. It is going to be limited edition, which I guess, I mean, maybe like, I, I guess, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Usually, I don't really go for these types of products, but, you know, with the climate change and with just, you know, I just feel like, like my wardrobe has changed too. Like, I wouldn't mind it, but I have a few products like that still that I could definitely use. So... I don't think I would need it, but I feel like I'm going to be more interested in these types of products now going forward. Okay. Uh, from, let's see, there's a new brand, Relaunch. Originally launched in 2013, Make Beauty Official. I think they're called Make. It's coming out with a new modern twist, bringing those aspects of the original brand's DNA includes sustainability, cleaner and more effective natural and lab engineered ingredients. And this is relaunched by Carrie Barber starting with skincare color on its way soon so we have an oil cleanser for 28 a serum cleanser for 24 uh micro ferment rice essence skin prep hydrating liquid for 30 and a succulent skin gel cream serum weight moisturizer for 28 okay so this is available now probably don't need anything i will say though this one the one photo in the bottom right hand corner i had like edward scissor hands vibes right is that who i'm thinking of no freddy krueger who am I thinking of with the club with the you know which one I don't I can't remember which one it is but that's what I thought of and I was like what is this what's happening I'm like holding my phone and I was like oh I think is that water I'm not really sure I'm not really sure but uh I I, I think I'm pretty good on my skincare right now so probably be okay to pass on that uh let me just go ahead and see what else we got um Kylie Skin is coming out with a new makeup melting cleanser. This will be available May 11th. I don't feel like I need it right now, and I'm not sure what's going on with Kylie Cosmetics. Like their Instagram, there's like nothing there. All their products are on sale. I'm not really sure what's happening at the moment. I haven't tried anything from Kylie Skin, and I don't know, I, I don't really feel like I need to, so probably gonna pass on that, but 
after that, I feel like it really was a jam-packed week. We had a ton to, talk to, ton to talk about, quite a few things that I'm interested in. So definitely would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, what are you planning to pick up? Always would like to know. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.